Hello everyone. Today myself Aditya, Aditya Malviya from TEXCC is here to tell something about magnetic levitation. So basically, what is magnet means? A kind of material which has certain properties, which attracts something or which repels something. So we have few uh, natural magnets which have inbuilt uh, magnetism in there. But if you flow current, if you flow current through a uh, conductor, it also behaves as a magnet. A magnetic field creates around them. And uh, see here, uh, a magnet has two poles, north pole and south pole. Like poles, uh, like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. See, if a north pole and south pole magnet is there and uh, if you are placing an object in between this, so all the electrons inside that object will continue to move in a particular direction and that will create a, a magnetic field in that and the object will move from one place to another that is from north pole to south pole it is when placed in the magnetic field a new motion starts in, in the electrons the field will be too weak so that uh, so uh, normal means uh, small parts, uh, big 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 things cannot move that much but small things can easily move like uh, a wood, a wooden, uh, wooden, a wood you take and if you place a magnet over there it will always align like this that, uh, that property is known as diamagnetism every diamagnetic material will, will levitate uh, in, a, in a strong field, it needs a strong field in fact, you also can levitate, but the field required is very enormous. Like uh, we can see also many frogs in water, they levitate in water just because of this diamagnetism and magnetic levitation. So, uh, the best thing which uh, levitates nicely is superconductors. Superconductors is the perfect, it is a perfect example of diamagnetism. Like if a superconductor is placed in a field, in the north pole and south, south pole it will move from one place to another it, it creates that, it has that much force that uh, it ripples from north pole and reaches up to south pole it is a perfect example for diamagnetism and that's how the journey for magnet trains like, uh, comes magnet trains works on the same principle that one uh, from north pole it will uh, repel and from uh, south pole it will attract and hence uh, with um, uh, hence the sorry. that's how magnet trains are created. So um, actually the speed of magnet, magnet trains that is magnetic trains are too much just because of this because it exerts that much force uh, when one from one end it is repelled and other end 